Remember the last time you had butterflies in your stomach? Or felt your heart leap? Those abstract feelings have to do with a real physical nerve, the vagus nerve. It connects the brain to what are known as the body's visceral organs, the heart, larynx, intestines, and more. While our sight and other senses connect us to the outside world, the vagus nerve and other nerves and hormones tell the brain what's happening inside our bodies. Scientists estimate that more than 100,000 nerve fibers make up the system, forming a two-way superhighway of constant information. A full belly, needing to cough, and a racing heart are just some of the things the vagus communicates. It also transmits signals from the brain to the viscera to jumpstart digestion or slow the heart. It's hard to trace the vagus nerve's thin, twisting branches through the body. Techniques used to map brain connections in animals don't work as well in the body as they do in the brain. But new techniques are helping scientists follow its wandering path. They hint that the vagus nerve's realm may stretch farther than scientists realized, including into areas of the brain responsible for memory and emotion. One method uses viruses to probe the vagus nerve's network. To infect its host, the rabies virus hops from neuron to neuron, traveling all the way into the brain. Rat studies have employed genetically modified glowing viruses that trace the network's path. They've revealed a vast mind-body neural web. Scientists use this method to discover a connection between the stomach and an area of the brain thought to regulate emotions. Another study homed in on a pathway between the rat stomach and hippocampus, a brain region involved in memory. After severing the vagus nerve along this track, the rats could no longer form some kinds of memories. With these new maps, researchers are exploring treatments involving the vagus nerve for many conditions, from inflammatory diseases such as Crohn's and rheumatoid arthritis to Alzheimer's and heart failure. There are already implants approved by the FDA to treat epilepsy and depression. Scientists are also testing a less invasive device called TAVNS. Since part of the vagus nerve connects to the ear, researchers are trying to stimulate it with an earbud-like device that transmits electrical signals along the nerve. There are more than 100 clinical trials testing TAVNS for conditions ranging from PTSD to Parkinson's disease. Time will tell if vagus nerve research will change lives. At the very least, it's lent new meaning to the phrase gut feeling.